Hello and welcome to this course introductory video. In this video I'm going to talk about what academic honesty means in university mathematics and go over some of my specific expectations for you for your mathematics courses and what I mean by academic honesty in those contexts. This exists in the large university context. The university policy on academic honesty is laid out in the calendar and you're responsible for being familiar with that. As students that's a thing that you have to do. Um, but that policy applies to the entire institution and is, is broad in general. In this video I want to talk about the specifics of what that means in mathematics. And in general mathematics is way more like the rest of the university than students typically expect. Academic honesty essentially means the same thing in math as it does in English and history and all of your other courses. Mathematics is not somehow different. It has the same rules and principles. And in that sense this is quite different from high school where there's a much more informal, much more casual approach to writing, writing up assignments, writing up other pieces of mathematical work. I want to be more formal. I want to have higher expectations. I want to treat a mathematical assignment or test more like a piece of academic writing and then has the same expectations of academic integrity as we do for writing in English or other disciplines in the university. And the basic idea behind all of this is that you need to present your own work. And if it's not your own work, you need to tell your reader where it came from and you need to properly cite it. So let's go through what that means in a number of contexts. So let's talk first about assignments. On assignments in my courses, group work is strongly encouraged. Group work is great. You can talk with each other, you can help each other through problems and concepts. Mathematics works very, very well in groups and I strongly encourage it. That said, after you've worked with your group, you do need to do your own assignments. I said the key idea was to submit your own thoughts and ideas. So work with your group, figure out how to do things, but then go and write up your own assignment, do your own calculations, write your own sentences. With calculations, often if you work with a group, your calculations will end up looking very, very similar, and that's to be expected. Once you've sort of figured out a common way of doing things, the calculations will look similar. However, you need to annotate your calculations. If you've also watched the How to Write an Assignment video, I talk a lot about annotating your calculations. Mathematical assignments in university involve writing. And you need to write your own sentences. So if your sentences look word for word like someone else's sentences, then something has gone very wrong. You should be writing your own sentences from your own mind that tells the reader, the marker, me, the grader, what your calculations mean. So if I receive assignments that have word for word the same sentences in them, I'm going to send them back and say this is unacceptable and if it's a repeated thing it's going to be an academic offense. Write your own sentences. If you work with people in the class it's really nice to acknowledge who you work with so I recommend at the end of the assignments just very briefly saying I worked with name one, name two, name three, some people from the class and that's only necessary for people who are in the class. For any other resources you used you need to cite your references. For books, this is just like it would be in English or history or any other discipline. Do a citation. I don't care about the style of citation. Use whatever citation style you find the best. But if you use other resources in a math assignment, like an essay, you need to cite them. And that includes the internet. And the internet is complicated enough that it deserves its own section of this video. So you need to cite your internet sources. And this is the thing that students, I think, find the most surprising. Because this is not necessarily a habit that you are in. But if you're doing mathematical work with a browser open and going to various websites for explanations and ideas, you need to cite those. You need to tell me what you've used for your assignment. And you need to be specific. Don't just say, I watched some videos on YouTube or I watched some Khan Academy videos. Give me the specific videos you watched. Give me the URLs. Um, you may submit a additional document of citation so you don't have to write the URLs out. On your pen and paper that's unreasonable um, but you need to be specific and give me actual citations for the websites you used. Often students use calculation tools online the most common that I've seen so far are Wolfram Alpha, Desmos, and Symbol Lab. I'm sure there are many others. You need to indicate where you're using those. That can be very brief. Uh, for those who like to use Wolfram Alpha writing a little WA next to calculations in your assignment where you've used that is a good way of doing it. But tell me at the start of your assignment how you're going to do that indication. Those first two points here on internet resources are still mostly about static resources, things that you go to. Maybe they do calculations, but there's no actual people. 
On the internet, you will also find forums and other places where you can interact, where you can post questions. Some of these are free, some of these are paid services, but there's a lot of different places on the internet that people will provide math help for you. And I want to be very, very clear on the use of those services. If you want to go to them for general help, you want to say, I'm having trouble with the concept of derivatives and chain rule. Can you help me with that? That's great. Ask them about the chain rule. Get someone else to give you an explanation about it. Sure. What you may not do is you may not post assignment or exam questions online. This is absolutely academic dishonesty. This is the clear line that I'm setting. So if you have an assignment question or a take home test question, you may not post it to any mathematical forum, any site, free or paid site on the internet. Moving on, sometimes students will find explanations for pieces of mathematics that use different notations or different calculation styles. If you do that, that's fine. But if you're using a different notation or if you're using a different method than the one we taught in the course, you have to explain what those notations are and you have to explain why those methods apply to the question in the course. You can't assume that your reader, me or the grader, knows all possible notations or knows all possible methods of solving something. There are many notations in mathematics and many methods of solving something. So be careful if you're using something that's different from how we did it in the course. You're going to need to provide context. And if you don't provide that context, whoever is reading it, me or some other grader, is going to say, where did you get this from? You need to, you need to tell us what this means. And one last little note here, be careful citing Wikipedia. Wikipedia is a really good resource. I use it all the time to remind myself of ideas, of concepts, of what things mean, but it's not authoritative. You can't say this is the case because I read it on Wikipedia. So it's a great for reminders, it's great for concepts, but it's not a thing you can cite to say this is, this is the situation, this is the way I'm doing things because Wikipedia told me to. Lastly, we have take-home exams in this course. So the final is, is an in-class written exam, but the term tests, there are three of them in Math 200, and if you're watching this from some other course, then we may also have take-home exams in that course. My expectations for take-home exams are different from assignments. With assignments, I encourage you to talk to people, talk to other people in the course, talk to your friends, talk to other people who've done mathematics courses, get some discussion going. For take-home exams, the simplest thing to do is just don't discuss the exam. I want to know your own work from your own mind, so don't talk about it with people in the course. Don't talk about it with your friends or your family. Do the exam on your own. You can still use static sources, internet or otherwise. Um, like with the assignments, do not post exam questions online. This is definitely academic dishonesty. It is not acceptable. If you want to get help on an exam, a take-home exam, a take-home test, ask for help on the relevant activities. So in my courses, there are activities with solutions. So look for the similar activities and say, how do I do this activity? Then you can figure out what the concept is and what the process is, and then go and do the similar type of question on the exam on your own. Hopefully that gives you a brief summary of what I expect and what academic honesty means for mathematics, in particular for assignments and take-home tests. Please make sure you understand this. Please make sure you are clear on what you can and cannot do. Ask me if you have any questions. This is a serious issue. Uh, we want to live up to a high standard of giving credit where credit is due, of having our work that we hand in be actually representative of our own ideas, our own production. University has a high standard of academic honesty, and we want to live up to that in mathematics like we do in all other disciplines.